anti-corruption -corrup enforcement will never work in Nigeria. Jailing corrupt Nigerians will worsen problem, EFCC boss speaks. The EFCC chair, Ola Olukaedi, says Nigerian anti-corruption fight focused on enforcement will never work, warning that persecuting and jailing corrupt people will only worsen the situation. Nigeria, Africa's most populous nation, is regarded as one of the most corrupt countries in the world. Mr. Olukoyede, who hoisted the management team of the National Orientation Agency, NOA, led by its Director General, Larry Issa Onilu, at the EFCC corporate headquarters in Jabi Abuja, on Wednesday said the anti-graft agency under his watch is interested in financial crimes prevention, because enforcement has never worked in the past 20 years. Upon my exemption of office, I made it known to Nigerians that one of the key areas that we will pursue seriously and vigorously is the area of prevention. Everything in the anti-corruption fight is not about enforcement. There are policy issues that are involved. It is not all about throwing bombs and chasing people with armored vehicles and machine guns. No it has never worked and it will never work. We have been on the path of enforcement for 20 years now. Would anyone tell me that the corruption is abating? Mr. Ulukoyede said. The EFCT board added, the more you do, the more progress you make in the area of recovery, in the area of persecution and conviction of people, the deeper the problem becomes. As they're facing one, people are convincing, people are inventing new areas and getting smarter by the day. And so we have come to realize that there is actually nothing fundamentally wrong with our people, but that, but that our values have been bastardized over the years, and also the system that we wrong. So I made it known to Nigerians and the entire world that we will pursue the issue of prevention very seriously. To achieve this, Mr. Lukoyede said, he has begun amplifying anti-corruption enlightenment campuses and establishing institutional structures, noting that with prevention, EFCC will no longer wait for money first to be stolen before it takes action. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has ended the notoriety of aiding of raiding nice clubs and hotels, harassing guests in clamp down on internet froster Yahoo Boys. Similarly, the EFCC had on several occasions raided bureaucracy change across the country in a bid to halt the narrow decline in the international market. Okay. Now we see what's in the happen. This man, they come and say, they tell us the super story. Me, I get suggestion. No? I have suggestion. Instead of us to come outside and start, just like he said, anti-corruption enforcement will never work. Me, if you st if you steal money, me then do not Korean style. If you take what does not belong to you in office, they execute you. That is what I want to suggest. Before your people will come outside and even notice, you don't go. It's a law. You understand? But then they do execution. You come outside and misbehave, you are gone. Before they know what is going on. You know, say for all things, they say gone. This kind of thing, they happen. If you, just, if you just offend God like this, before... People go even know, say, ah, you offend God, you. Then if you just see your course, so you don't straight, you don't straight, they tell you. You understand? When lion, when, white lion as a case study, his inability to stand trial is not a making of the EFCC, but rather the judiciary that has failed to interpret its implication by virtue of our constitution, hence a major circles of an 80 billion naira transfer an 80 billion naira first start with port multiple court injunctions. Our constitution needs to be reviewed. And an immunity clause that impedes the duty of the anti graft agencies, Chetis and furthermore, our judiciary needs to be overhauled. And it has become to our national polity. So, on top of this issue now, where will they get? What exactly is this man trying to say? But me, I've suggested my own. No? Let us trash this if you do corruption or engage in bribery and corruption, they will jail you. It's not working. Can't you see? But I'm not going with his own idea. 
you understand let's do not Korea style you get you do engage in bribery and corruption your head will roll in front of your member members of your uh, distant family and friends you understand everybody public execution maybe maybe it's going to be okay because me i believe see see eh, do you know that initially when this world was created there were no laws guarding it it is as people they work all these laws we are seeing in nigeria today is as we they go as people they more permit me to use the word foolish and permit me to use word stupid you understand people can say okay in order for this thing not to happen hmm? in order for this thing not to happen let us bring out this law in order for rape not to happen let's bring out bring out a law about rape in order for incest not to happen yeah because this law people were going wild and this thing i feel is the same thing so let us bring a strong law now let me also say this initially years back kidnappings were things every day okay until they have strong laws that time if you still if you kidnap somebody <laughs> my brother um, um, they are going to burn you to death you get me what happened that time because that law was not written anywhere hmm? but because they were doing those things that time kidnappings reduced so this is to me i am looking at it like a perfect way since uh, jailing them is not solving the problem kawan koto strong see you understand i'm not joking if you know that if you commit bribery and corruption hmm, as an offense your head will roll as in oh sure fun, they don't use one person two person three person what if you for example and the people they use for example they are not poor oh, they are not poor people the class mm -mm. they don't mean you class they the, you know, class of the uh, people that call themselves people in power. You know, Uju, everybody, Abo, you will see the self-control. It is now, it's not looking like bearing and is a big deal. I assure you, it is going to reduce. Yes, people will no longer do it in public. You get me? The corruption will not be hidden. And then even as it is more hidden, you understand? You could not say you could hide until you could disappear. No, see, I just, I just thought about it now. So it is no biggie. They cannot. The jailing is not working now. Eh, no problem. It's no problem. The jailing will worsen the issue. No problem. Let everybody. You see somebody will be say don't do baby and corruption before. Maybe <laughs> my head are going into many places. It's not. It's not. This thing is not a big deal. You could don't want to deal with them. Can you go? Hey, no problem. Cause it problem. Bro, one bear. There's no issue. Hmm? No problem at all. Because I don't understand what you are talking about. Lack of seriousness from government in Nigeria, coupled with seemingly defending attitude of judiciary, makes corruption bigger than in Nigeria. That is what I'm saying. Let us look for something that is going to be strong. Because jailing them is not working. But it's here and see. Uh -huh. When people now see that they can die if they commit a corruption, uh -huh. will everybody have a corruption today? All right, so on this note, we have come to the end of the news. So thank you for sending in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.